Just to recap what I did during the fast forward that you saw, uh, I hit this first with the 150 grit sandpaper and then once I got all of the previous coating or the previous stain off of here, I then went ahead with the uh, 320 grit sandpaper to smooth everything out to where you see it now. I've wiped it all down with a very lightly damp cloth and uh, got all of the uh, excess powder off of there from the wood and everything and so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is use this pre-stain right here this is really just all this is going to do is kind of preps the wood and actually kind of pulls the grain uh, from the wood so it's going to give it that a uh, little bit nicer look to it instead of just doing just stain uh, so we'll go ahead and generously coat the stock with it and one thing you want to remember with this uh, while you're doing this is do not touch that stock with any kind of grease uh, from your hands or anything like that because that will actually stain the wood in the area in which you touched it. Um, so keep uh, something like gloves on, should help out. Alright again, uh, just generously coat this with the, uh, the pre-stain and then what you're going to do is let it sit for about 5 to 15 minutes, let it soak in and then uh, just kind of wipe it off with a dry dry rag, dry clean rag. I have a really large brush for some reason. Now if you haven't done this before, this is good practice for when you're going to actually apply the stain. You kind of want to do everything with the grain. Uh, and by, by that I mean when you're, when you're applying whether it's the stain or this pre-stain here, is to just kind of practice going with the grain of the wood when applying it just like that. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the residue that's left from that pre-stain. Then just using a clean, dry cloth. As you can see, that kind of, really kind of pulled that out of there, that grain in this wood. And this is laminate, so that's pretty much all there is to that. And we can go ahead and start staining. Now, if you're following along just for the uh, refinishing, basically, directions on how to refinish a woodstock, uh, mine is just a little bit different than just doing one color. I'm going to be doing a two-tone here. Uh, what I'm going to first do is use the black stain. Because I'm going to make sure that the entire rifle is nice and black. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to go back and sand away the middle portions of the stock here. And then going to restain that. So I think it's going to be a really cool two-tone look to it. Um, Kind of like, you know, fire burning away uh, at a material, but it's going to look pretty cool, so let's get started. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start applying the first portion of this stain here, which is again the uh, ebony color. going to apply it with one of these little sponge brushes. But, moving with the grain of the wood, starting from the top to the bottom. So the directions state not to let any stain that hasn't been absorbed by the wood, uh, do not let it just air dry on there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just wipe off any excess stain uh, that I've applied. This might have been too heavy of a coat, but never fear, we can just wipe it off and let the stain work as we're wiping this down. Again, even when wiping the excess off, it's a good idea to just roll with the grain of the wood. You kind of see there what it's starting to look like. This uh, this lighting is kind of horrid for this project, but uh, we'll get some better shots here in just a second. We have this sitting on here now. 
Uh, gonna let it sit for about a good four to six hours before I go back and start sanding away at uh, the middle area. Again, I'm going for a two-tone look uh, for my rifle. So what I'm gonna do is sand away the just around the middle here. So it should be a pretty cool look when I get done with it. All right, I left this second layer on here to uh, for the wood to soak it up just a little bit more than the last one. So I'm hoping that brings things just a little bit darker. I don't want to get it too dark because I'm still probably going to be sanding. So we'll go ahead and wipe off the excess here and see what it's starting to look like. So here's a pretty good look at the secondary coat that I have on there. And you can see everything's starting to get just a little bit darker. And I'll tell you what. Half of me is really tempted to uh, to leave this how it is, in, in just how it is, and just put a satin clear coat on there. Alright, so I got my first layer of the satin clear on there, and I thought I went fairly light, personally, but... Uh, looking at this now, you can barely see it. If you look at it in certain lighting, you can see a run going down there. Other lighting, it just kind of goes away. But So it looks like what I'm going to have to do is go back and uh, just kind of block sand this area with really fine sandpaper to bring that back down and then uh, put some more layers on. Okay, so in the process of removing some of the runs that I had in here, I wound up actually taking some of the dye out. And even though I was sanding with a block sander and uh, using this little coolie cup here as a pad and just uh, 320, just using just the weight of that alone was enough to take the, the clear finish off as well as some of the uh, the dye in there. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to utilize that and I actually like the way this is starting to look. And uh, what I did was basically I'm just going to, since this grain back here is so interesting on the back, I am going to use the uh, the interesting pattern of it and let that pull through um, in the clear rather than just be all, uh, you know, just one layer of dye or uh, stain. I'm just going to let that pull through. I'm going to go ahead and lightly, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and buff this with this uh, this dry rag here. And you can kind of see just how cool this is going to look if I can get my next layer of clear correct on there. Uh, because I thought I was being extremely delicate with the first layer. So uh, we're going to try another layer of clear and lay it right over this. And you can see just how cool this is going to look. And uh, here's the back side. I haven't quite buffed that one yet. but. I think that has the potential to look really nice uh, once all that clear is done on there. Let's get started. Now since I've been sanding all of this, uh, one of the things it says to prep everything with is uh, mineral spirits since this is an oil based uh, product here. And uh, this is going to help to get all of the grease from my hands and get all of the dust from sanding back off of there. And uh, this is also good to use when you're uh, when you're prepping for the clear coat as well as uh, mineral spirits gets everything off of there all the grease all the lint all the dust I'm just gonna wipe it down and we're not trying to remove a finish or anything like that but just lightly damped in mineral spirits wipe it all down as you can kind of see that's kind of what it's going to start to look like once I put that layer of clear back on here but uh, let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, there's my layer of clear. I did this one off camera just because I'm pretty certain I probably rushed it when I was doing it on camera to try to get things going. But that is going to be one interesting looking uh, wood scheme there. I think that kind of gives it like a charred look. But uh, we'll see what it looks like after a couple more layers of clear.